We're going to give you thanks to God. You're lovely round of applause. You all may please take your seats. Kain Sabalu Bajanan Swami Ki Jai. Now that we have all been polarized and warmed up with devotion, with those beautiful pajans from all of the pajanavalis this evening, thank you. God blessings to each and every one of you. I always say, you know, Bhagwan always has a reason for us being where we are, when we are. There's always he always has a reason to put something in our path. Let me apologize for the late start, the late, I should say the late start, but nevertheless we have legends from 6 o'clock which prime the atmosphere for this evening. We are here to celebrate the life of this great departed soul. As we chant the opening mantras this evening, on behalf of this entire family, the family of Athena, that is the Lake Athena, we'd like to welcome all of you. Thank you for your presence. And those of you joining us online from all over the world this evening, Swagatan, Koti Koti Hanyavad. I ask all of you this evening to sit upright for a few minutes as we chant the opening mantras, our open shoulders, and then we'll go right into our evening of devotion. You sit upright, take a deep breath. Fill the lungs for about 8 seconds, hold it, and gentle release, another deep breath, gentle release, one small deep breath, and breathe. Om 
परित्राणाय साधुना निराशाय चतुर्थितानाय संभवामी ये
Saturday evening, but it's quite a Let's try that one more time. Pray Sabal Gajanan Swami Ki. That's more like it. Now, let us go to the feet of the Guru. Our scriptures teaches us Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Parat Brahma, Tasmay Sri Gurave Nama. Oh, mind, the Bhajan tells us. Without worshipping the lotus feet of the Guru, O oh, Sai Nathan, it is not possible to cross this ocean of life and death. A victory to the noble teacher, our Lord Sai Nath, O oh, Namah Shivaya. Chant the name of Lord Shiva, who resides at Arunachala. Manas Bhajare Guru Charanam Nostal Would you please lead us in chanting the 40 glorious verses of Sri Hanuman Chalisa? You know, when we chant these 40 verses, composed of course by who? Goswami Tulsidas Ji. Whenever there is pain and suffering, 
Whenever you feel you have come to the end of the road, whenever you cannot see that light at the end of the tunnel, call upon Mahavir Swami. It's very simple devotees. And what was his rocket fuel? What was his rocket fuel? Jai Shri Ram. Whenever you're feeling down and out, if you have a headache on him, Jai Shri Ram. If you do it with faith, the headache will go. You don't need title on these things. Jai Shri Ram. Nirmalji, lead us please.
technology my dear mothers fathers gurus if there are any pundits with us this evening uncles and aunties those listening online as well brothers and sisters friends relatives children blessed are we to be amongst each other today in this beautiful ashram fho shiv mandir to give praise and thanks to bhagwan firstly for allowing us to assemble like this and to give praise and thanks to bhagwan for sharing this beautiful soul with us for so many years and now that she is back in his abode oh the majestic lord of kailash bholinath purify our minds our bodies and souls oh lord shiva and heal this planet from all its negativities and everything negative anything that's adharmic that's affecting us today we say chedananda roopa shiva shiva jai shiva shankar tonight let us glorify bhagwan shri krishna by chanting his name i would like all of you to clap your hands to sing you know as we celebrate the life of aunty ina i want you to think if aunty ina were, were in this temple tonight if she were here she would be on a chair you know, she would be all over the place kissing hugging telling you something to make you laugh to cheer you up she was the one who would always be the light and the life of the you can say party you can say satsang and that is aunty ina this bhajan wherever that beautiful soul is let it reap all the love and all the energy that exists in shiva mandir ona dhe govinda gopala jay jay govinda radhe gopala ora dhe Oh 
ਸਾਡੇ ਵਿਦਾਵਨ ਕਿਹਾ ਇਲਾਨ ਕੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਰਾਧੇ the presence of bhagwan the energy that exists and the that energy comes from the love the love for adina the love for bhagwan in all forms for tonight's session katha we are going to look at the relationship between bhagwan shri krishna and his dear friend his mitra sudama and how even when we appear to have nothing to offer to the lord the devotees if we offer our hearts and pure love to him that's everything that's all that matters that is a true friendship for the closest friend one could ever have paramatma when all your friends have abandoned you i'm not saying all your friends leave you when all your friends have abandoned you you can always count on god god gives but he never takes remember this god will always give but he never wants it all he asks for is our love tonight we look at some of the qualities of sudama in likeness perhaps some like our auntie ina humility kindness joy of being in satsang cultivating love in prayer for all and of course surrender this dear devotees this type of friendship that we offer to bhagwan is the kind of friendship that we should cultivate with every single soul everyone why siya ram mein sab jag jaani karu pranam jori jug paani that super soul exists in every single one of us rupa ji can i have a little reverb on the mic is a little bit dry please thank you everyone devotees every one of us is a representation of god make no mistake i repeat every one of us is a representation of god so says bhagavad gita let a helping hand let a helping hand to serve and to love all love all and serve all selfless equally make a difference in this world through kindness not hate not animosity not gossip not nonsense make a difference in this world through kindness how can we filter out what is wrong how can we filter out the negativities this maya for what is real you know a good start the poet kabir das tells us in his bhajan he says leave the entanglements of this world thank you very much there excellent thank you leave the entanglements of this false world to a very short span as we can achieve the primary goal in life which is to go back home like our auntie did the bhajan tells us kabir das ji chhod chhode ਤੇ ਜਗ ਕਾ ਛੋੜ ਜਾਵੇ ਨਾ ਤੂੰ ਤੇ ਜਗ ਕਾ ਜਗ ਗਏ ਦਾਸ ਕਰੀ ਪਾਰ
Mela Jute Jagakam. You know, our precious scriptures teaches us that Harumanji, his determination to do best, always best for Sri Ram, always demonstrated that we are the light, that you and I have the same light, devotees, and within us, that's God's light. And we should extend this light to everyone, not darkness. When we meet someone, we say Namaste with the thumbs pointed at the chest that they have. The divinity in me, how I recognizes the divinity in you. Then from Namaste, how do you go negative? If you recognize the divinity in that other individual, the sky's the limit. Uplift, enlighten, positivity only, no negatives. Not just in words, you know, mantra, vachansi. Words, thoughts, and actions. In tonight's session, as we are looking at the relationship between two friends, the midfriends, the truest friendship and the closest friendship of all, Bhagavan Shri Krishna, Paramatma. What do we mean by total surrender? Total, we hear, we hear surrender when, we, spend, when we, hear, we, we speak of wars and things like this. Total surrender. I give up. I give up. How about give up to Bhagwan? Bhagwan, it is in your hands. Everything is in your hands, O Lord. As you will, so shall it be. And I always say this, you know. Bhagwan always gives us how much, when, why, what. He knows exactly when to give us. And if God has led you there, God will lead you out. If Bhagwan has brought you there, He will lead you out. Therefore, the magical formula is let go and let God. Let go and let God. No friend, your, as my Aji is always your friends will carry you, but they will never bring you. Colloquially. Let go and let God. We speak about total surrender. Let's call some names in our scriptures. Shabri, Prahalad, Meera, Draupadi. And we can go on and on and on. Total surrender. As you remember, in Bhagavad Mahapuram, when Draupadi was being unrobed in the courts, they were trying to embarrass her. They took the first layer of the sari out and she kept on holding the sari like this, you know. And call it Krishna, Krishna. Bhagavan didn't come. Take the next roll of round of the sari out. Gopal, Gopal. And finally, when they were going to go to the third layer of the sari, what did she do? She let go and let God. She said, Dhanisham. What was the result of that? Calling of Bhagavan Sri Krishna. They could not untie, they could not finish untying cloth because of the will of Paramatma. Devotees. If one were to take the Webster's Dictionary and look, Miriam Webster, one of my favorites, and look at the meaning, the definition of the word friend, she says, one who is attached to another by affection or esteem, that's a friend, acquaintance, one who is not hostile, someone who will not hurt you, somebody of the same nation, somebody of the same you know, city, uh, village, etc. Abdul Kalam, a scientist and the late president of India, he says, I quote, A friend is someone who knows the song of your heart and sings it back to you when you have forgotten how it goes. A very strong statement. Swami Vivekananda, I quote, Friendship can only be expected between two equals. A true friend cannot, one cannot be greater than you. You have to see eye to eye, as we say. Tonight, we take a spiritual path into this Bhagavad Mahapurana as we chant. I ask you to sit up right again. Pray in the Bhagavad Gita, Ravan, Beharila, Lagi, Jai, Radhe, Radhe, Kuchela, Nama, Bhavata, Satir, Tatam, Gataha, Sasan, Deepani, Mandire, Vijaha, Vade, Haragi, Nada. Dhana Devi Shri Priya Ho Dinani Nemi Aprashani Prashani Graha Griha Ashami Vagirindra Vandihari Lala Ki Jai Kuchela, not Kuchela, 
Kuchela was a householder and he was studying in the ashram of the sage Sandipani. He was a devoted soul to the feet of Bhagwan Shri Krishna and he led a life of extreme peace free from this mundane world, desire and selflessness. I want you to Sai Baba I quote tonight. He says, fulfilling desires will not make us happy. Desires mean I want, I want, I want. When you don't get what you want, what happens? You become sad. But removing them will definitely get it done. Kuchela or Sulama dedicated his entire life serving God and God only. Material things didn't matter at all. Simple taste he had no desires whatsoever and his senses were under control what do we mean by senses under control let me give you an example tonight we're all here in satsang if i were to say the word laddu that way your mind is well and the sweet man on look like Bhagavad, right you see so easy to get distracted his senses were in control and although he was very poor he was a very poor man he never blamed god for his poverty how many people you see beat their chest together and say, Oh God, if I didn't know God help in a boy, it I have a God, God where you Why are you so poor? He never said out of these words at all, devotees. His wife's name was Kalyani, beautiful name. Though she was as peaceful as Kuchela or Sudama, she had not yet won the war of the mind like him. She was still a little bit on the material side. She was very devoted to her husband. And would only eat after him and only eat what was left over. Would only eat what I'm going to tell you everybody go home and eat after the husband and him. Only eat what was left over and make sure the husband's belly is full first. She could not bear suffering and pain anymore of the poverty. And one day she asked him, Kuchela, why are you not paying a visit to your friend? He says, Who? Who are you talking about? She says, Bhagavan Shri Krishna lives in Dwaraka. And request him, ask him, you know, to make some, make some means to our ends, you know. Let him provide something for us. Sudama looked at her. And what did he say? His wife put him in a, in a situation of shock. And she said, he said, simple garments his clothing was torn in several places, no ornaments whatsoever, no jewelry, etc. And this poor lady, his wife, did not have a single full solid meal since the day she married Sudama. Never once complained, you know. After she uttered these words to, to, to Sudama, she stood in utmost silence. Her eyes looked to the ground. Sudama felt very, very sorry for her. And this was the very first time that she had ever asked for something because she always wanted to see her husband happy. He told himself, you know what? I will please her today and I will go. I'm going to put everything aside and I'm going to go. He says, you know, Kalyani, it is a good chance for me to catch up with my old dose, my mitra, my old friend. And then he asked Kalyani, she said, he says, you know this story very well. I'm going to be very quick on the story, but we'll go into philosophy tonight. Is there anything, any gifts in the home that I can take to him? Of course, they were very poor. She said, there's nothing, but let me go by the neighbor and see what I can get borrowed. When she went by the neighbor, little <coughs> morsels of rice, cooked rice. She tied it into a cloth and she gave it to Sudama. Devotees, Sudama, that, that rice, by the way, was even barely a mouthful to feed anyone, much more to give to the Lord. Sudama was about now. To go to the Lord, and you know the bhajan tells us when we are a little child, so tiny and innocent. You, O oh Lord, are very powerful. How do we come before you? Protect us, O oh Lord. Protect us. The beautiful bhajan tonight. As Sudama is about to make his way to Bhagwan Shri Krishna, he praises the Prabhu. May मैं एक छोटा सा बच्चा हूँ तुम हो मेरे परमा प्रभु जी मेरे नास हो मैं एक छोटा सा मैं एक छोटा सा
transforming the mind into an instrument for realizing God. Bhakti, however, has been watered down into a routine ritual. What do we mean by this? Like today the beads of a mala. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. The, mind. the mala is here, but the mind is somewhere else. Spending a specified number of hours before Murti or image or in a temple. Waving of incense, waving of arati, ringing of the bells, blowing of the shant. Taking holy baths in specific rivers and climbing on hills to reach shrines. Swami says, these are acts that quieten some of the urges which may not be sufficient. But bhakti is not a uniform that can be put on or off. I'll give you an example. Here in this country, when you see police officers out in the road, they all have uniforms, they have their guns and their tasers and whole nine as their badges and all of that. But when they go home, after their duty is over, they remove that, they put on civilian clothes. So too. We compare this now with bhakti or devotion. Devotion cannot only be conducted in specified hours or when you have the time, devotees. Every single breath that we take is devotion. We say so, we breathe in. Hum, exhale. So, hum, I and my father are one. And if every time we take a breath, instead of the mind, the chanchal mind going in all different places, all we need to say is Om Namah Shivaya. And we keep breathing Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. You know what happens after a while? The mind, the body, and the soul, the, all the actions, they become in sync. Everything you do, everything you do becomes Shiva. And once Bhagwan is seated in our hearts, once Shiva is there, have no fear. Nothing negative will come out of the mouth to hurt anyone. Brothers and sisters, a constant condition of the mind 
इस धरती भक्ति मस्ट बी लॉयली फॉलोड डिस्पाइट वट एवर मी हॅपन नाव वेन सुदाम स्टार्टेड हिस जर्नी फ्रॉम हिस हाऊस टू गो टू द्वारका he was worried about a little gift that he would give to his lord krishna you see bhagwan tells us in bhagavad gita it is quality not quantity hmm? love purity this principle of purity in love to bhagwan bhagavad gita chapter 9 verse 26 tells us you all know very well om prem sabhavar vidha vande hari lal ki jay radhe radhe पत्र पुष्पम फल यो मे भक्त्या प्रयच्छति तदहम भक्तयुपाहृत अश्ना प्रयाता मन प्रेम सुभाल की जय भगवान तस इफ द वन हु ऑफर्स टू मी विथ द मोशन अ लीफ अ फ्लॉ अ फ्रूट वॉटर वेर इट्स ड्राई आई डोंट केयर I delightfully will partake of that food once it is offered with love. L O V E, the most powerful four-letter word in this entire universe. Of all the gifts offered to the Lord, true love pleases Him the most. The legend tells us, "Sabse uchi kevasen."
coming from an old Karat Lipe Gover Lipe floor home, barely any windows or doors, sleeping on the floor, very poor. And here he's looking at all these mahals, palaces, mansions, dressed in old torn up clothes. His dhoti and so forth had holes in the devotees. He was, you know, he was a farmer. Gobar and so forth stained his clothing, but he's going into this palace, wondering in the back of his mind. How is, what sort of reception is, is he going to get? Even, is he even going to get past the guards at the gate? Kunchela entered, or Sudama entered the house of Mitra Vinna. And he felt as he entered Vaikunt Lok when he stepped through the gates of Vrindavan. I'm sorry, of Dwaraka. And this now, because of the great hospitality shown to him. Please respond to my call, O Krishna, he says. When you are silent, why are you hiding from me, O Lord of Dwaraka? Alleviate my suffering, for I am now under your shelter tonight. If you know of anyone who has pain, suffering, anyone who is in the hospital, anyone who is not well, place a name of that devotee, your loved one, to the feet of the Lord tonight. The Bhajan says, I have heard that you are the remover of all pains and suffering. If I was, would have come to your door, quench my burning desire for you by washing your feet with my tears, O oh Lord. Do not ignore me. I plead, do not delay. Please come. Tum kaha chupe Tum kaha chupe Take them across this portion of the existence. 
The analogy the writer used was that when a swimmer is in the ocean swimming, when a pool swimming, does he push the water? Well, it depends, right? If he's doing a, what's the regular? Normal swimming on his stomach, he'll be pulling the water, not so? Pulling the water and pushing it back. Do you think the swimmer will ever look for that water to go back? That water and say, hey, come, come boy, water, let me pull it back this way. No devotees, always moving forward. And this is the analogy that the writer is using. Like swimming in this ocean of earthly existence. Whatever is gone, whatever is done, whatever is in the past, leave it back there. You and I could never change that. Leave it back there and move forward. You see, the quicker you get rid of that weight, that baggage, leave it there and move forward. Sudama is moving forward towards Bhagavan Shri Krishna. He knows that God always adores the indweller, just like that blade of grass. Or that distant star, it is all controlled by Bhagavan. Nothing, not even a blade of grass will move in this world without the blessings of the Holy Nath. Devotees, develop this sense of peacefulness, of surrender, of contentment. Whatever you have, whatever you have, whatever you receive from Bhagavan, be contented. I'll give you another example. This tongue resides in the mouth with normally 32 teeth. While speaking or chanting, we are very careful not to bite the tongue. I know some of us probably have dentures and things, I'm just joking. 32 teeth, normally. We are very careful not to bite. You ever bite your tongue? It's a nice feeling. It's painful. This is why if the tongue bites the teeth, do you go and take a hammer and knock out the teeth? No, because it's yours. Right. Similarly, we are all limbs of the same body that is God's children. Feel the oneness. Here we are in Shiva Mandir this evening. Feel the oneness, the love. And avoid this thing called hate. God is always on the lookout, you know, for inner visions. What do we mean like by this? Those who speak words of purity. Those who speak words that are similar and sweet. Those who share this trait called love. Love is something you can't buy in public, you know. Love has to be felt. It can be shared, it can be felt. And genuine love is most powerful, it is most appreciated by Bhagavan. He blesses those hearts so much that are filled with love that we are able to take in all his children. Let us have a clear understanding about the nature of God, as Sudama is going to realize. God is a universal absolute. Whatever the name, 
whatever form, whatever love or symbol you, you offer to him with love, you will see his benevolence and magnificence. We are coming up just now, Mahashivratri, in two weeks on the 18th. Mahashivratri, the love of the Lord Shiva, global chanting, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. The universal which we all are, we are prior, we are true, egoless, and this love we have for God is unlimited, it's everlasting. A perfect example of our Auntie Ina. I remember many times coming to this, this temple, especially we'll meet here and maybe in some, some, some and so forth. Normally at Diwali time, she's the first person you see at the gate out there. Not so? Diwali celebration night, Auntie Ina is out there giving parsa or selling some raffle tickets, and you can't pass the street without buying a raffle ticket. That is Auntie Ina. Just like Sudamana. He was shy. And when he saw Bhagavan Sri Krishna, when, sorry, Bhagavan Sri Krishna heard from the gates, the guards at the gate, someone by the name of Sudama, Kuchela, is here to see. What did he do? He jumped off his throne. He says, My Mitra, my friend, I'm coming, I'm coming. No slippers in his feet. He ran to the gate. Ran to the gate. And when he saw him, Sudama's head was bowed like this because he was embarrassed as the way he looked. And Lord Krishna with his crown, with his jewelry, the king of Dwaraka. He came and Sudama went to bow to his feet and said, what did he do? He lifted him off the ground and he hugged him. Devotees, that hug, that love that Bhagwan recognizes Mitra with is how you and I should recognize when Bhagwan comes to our doorstep. Ram, play this one please. This beautiful pattern as we sing. The meeting of Lord Krishna and Sudama Sudama Nirini Sudama O Sri Krishna Ji Ke Ane Nama Nirini Sudama Oh 
The Bhajan tells us, due to the shyness of this offering, Sudamana refused to give this bag of rice, this little bit of rice, to Bhagwan Shri Krishna. Bhagwan Shri Krishna falsely grabbed it from him. He's a Lord, he knows everything. And here now we come to the most important part of the Kata tonight. And it will probably clear some misconceptions of what will take place next. The fear of God should always be absent in genuine devotion. What do you mean by this devotee? Sometimes you have people telling you, you know, if you don't do X, Y will happen. If you don't do Z, this will happen. Or this will happen to your family, this will happen to your children. Once your mind is pure and clean, they will say what they want. Because you have that one-on-one -on -one connection with God, you've established that protocol. Do it with love. Sudama's wife urged him to give up all doubts. Give up all doubts and proceed as far as possible to the gates. And if Bhagwan doesn't want to see you, then come back home. But of course, as we, we said in the beginning of the Katha, have no fear when God is here. Staying away, you cannot complain that the fire is not hot enough. Staying away from the fire, you can't complain that it's not hot enough. Sudama was so nervous, he needed to be persuaded to go, he needed a bit of encouragement now to go past the gate. Okay, he was so nervous. Such fear must be absent from the mind of a genuine devotee devotees. And that devotee, us, should always appear, approach the Lord and earn the grace of Bhagwan. The Lord showers His mercy upon all, even the distressed persons, and especially the ones who long for His wealth, for His blessings. Sorry. A great philosopher once said, "You know, if the only wealth you have is money, then you are the poorest person in this world. Wealth is your health. Wealth is your happiness. Wealth is when you can lie down in your bed tonight in the night to go to sleep." And you sleep in a week without any worries whatsoever. Look, many people are abundant. Many people call me, Baba, I can't sleep. Boy, check the patra, see what's going on. It is self, that is self brought on to you by yourself, the way your mind acts, because of maybe desires, because of problems, maybe things that you have done, your karmic actions. But if you put all that, like, like this, you put it in the back, no man. Put it in the back. Pull the water, the fresh water, it's in the front. And only see what is pure, which is Bhagwan. How can you go wrong, devotees? We all know the story very, very well. Lord Krishna brought him in and washed his feet, gave him new clothing, and of course put him in a nice room. He spent a the night there, fed him, made sure he was properly fed, and then he asked for his bhauji. After that was done, Bhagwan said, Okay, now, time to go. You can go if you want. So Rama said, Okay, Prabhu, I'm going now. Not asking the Lord even for a morsel of food. If the Lord were to appear before us right now, here, Shiva Mandir, how many things would you ask the Lord for? Hmm? There's a list, no? Sudama did not even ask for a single thing. Like we said in the Katha, there were many Vajans tonight. He knows. He knows everything. Devotees, when Sudama now, Walked out of the gates of his palace, heading home, he took a shower and they dressed him up very nicely and so forth. He got a little bag of food and he's going down the road now. As he was walking past where he used to live, I say where he used to live, where his Karat shed was, he walked right past it, he couldn't recognize what was there. And what was there? Beautiful Mahal, a beautiful home. Bhagwan had materialized that home with all the trimmings, all the fittings, all the food. His Dulahin was all properly dressed up and so forth. This is the Mahima of Bhagavan Shri Krishna. This is the faith. And this is what pure and true Bhakti is the result of. You know, when he understood now what was happening, he then began to thank his wife, firstly, for giving him the courage now to go to God. Sometimes you need a little push, you know, to go before God and ask. If you ask, how would he know? But he does know. But you must do it subliminally. When you sit in meditation, you can sit in, as we, we spoke about the rosary, the mala, japaying the mala all the time like this. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, but the mind is all over the place. 
You can sit also in front of your puja room or in front of your altar, in front of the mandir, and speak to God from the heart, from the mind. That's the best kind of prayer. You know, in this world today, in this Western world today, there are people that will pay big money to go and sit in an ashram. It's called a silent retreat. What is a silent retreat? Let me explain. You turn off the cell phone. No, no communication with the outside world, but you sit in an ashram for seven days, 21 days, and don't speak to anybody. You don't utter a word. Could you, could you do that? Think about this for a second. People will pay money to go and do that. Why? You see, the less you speak, the more the heart will speak. And when the heart speaks and it speaks of love, the connection is there with Bhagwan. And that is the end result. This is Maunam, the whole You know, Sudama offered this little morsel of rice to Bhagwan and he ate it and he enjoyed it. Is there anyone in this world who can describe God's love? After Shivratri, what comes next? Navratri. The love of the Divine Mother. Mother of all mothers. Her love, she says, come my children, as long as you are with me and I will protect you, no one can hurt you. The love of that mother for every single living creature because we are all part and parcel of the Divine Mother. All can say, God is love and love is God. But God, that love for God is indescribable, it's limitless. And as we close this evening, you know, we as humans, we tend to shrink and, and make small a contract. Whatever kind of love that we are capable of. Think of those of us who are parents, think of our children, how much we love our children. And those of us who are grandparents, think of how much more we love our grandchildren. This love, why do we shrink it? Why do we love all equally? You know, sweeten your speech, as I close tonight, Swami says. Sweeten your speech and sanctify your deeds. If you don't have something good to say about somebody, Jai Shri Krishna. Leave it like a water in your back. When we finish satsang here tonight, Didi was cooking since what time this morning? 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. So great food from... What's the name of the restaurant today? No. no. This is for this one, must not the restaurant. But we go sit to eat. What are the conversations that will take place? Oh, the food, good. Oh, let the conversations be about Auntie Ina. That's why we are here tonight. Let the conversations be about Bhagwan. Those of us who attend Sai Satsangas. When you go to Sai Satsang, when Arati is finished, Arati is performed, very quiet when you exit, you go. What is the sense and what is the, I'm not scrolling anybody, I'm just drawing a reference because this is facts, these are facts. What is the use we sit here for two hours and Jappe, Ram, Nam, Krishna, Nam, everybody singing, beautiful chanting, create all this energy. And the minute we exit that front door, oh. Put this into practice. It's my humble, my humble request to all of you this evening, this evening or tonight, sorry. Put this into practice. If you don't have anything to say, look at the person next to you, not now, when you go outside, say, tell the person, I love you. That will start a whole new conversation. Trust me, it works all the time. Positive conversation. And this is who we are celebrating tonight. Positivity. She will always say to me, what? Son, come, I love you. The one big hug. That is the love we speak about. That is genuine love. When Vidya Devi called me and said, Baba, I would like you to host this satsang for my mom. Without any hesitation, the answer was yes. You know why? Because every, every conversation, every interaction with this beautiful soul is one of love and one of positivity. It's an honor, it's a blessing. I am blessed to sit here to sing her praises tonight. So are all of me, by the way. Let us be more concerned tonight with our own progress. Don't worry about the progress of other people. Be concerned with our own progress. How do we get here? How do we go back to God? To God? Not to come back on this world. Be more concerned about our own correction before correcting others. 
We speak about judgment. We are quick to judge others. How about judging ourselves? When you look in the mirror in the morning, what do you see? What do we need to fix? I'm not talking about cosmetics. What do we need to fix? How do I put a smile on my face when I walk there without aura around me? That's so hard positivity. People want to come and hug you. Try as hard as you can, devotees, to give happiness to others. And if a brother or sister in your community is down and out, please try to uplift them. Uplift them. You see that karma that you are doing? If you don't experience that positive karma or that return of karma in this channel, your generations to come shall reap from it. The children will reap from it. Your grandchildren will reap from it. I am who I am today because of my forefathers, my ancestors, my pitras. They have all contributed to who I am. And I am making that way for my children, my grandchildren, great grandchildren, to benefit as well positively. Brothers and sisters, when we love each other in this manner, love each other in this manner, the path to get to God is one that is very close and very near. And when you become free from all of these evil and negative tendencies, such as hatred, anger, hypocrisy, deceit, jealousy, and so forth, we are climbing the rungs of that ladder to go back to Bhagwan. Bhagwan is waiting like Sudama approaching the gates of Dwaraka. I quote Swami again, Baba. He says, My life is my message, and expansion is my life. He says, No reason for love, no season for love, no birth, and no death. Live without hating others, condemning others, and seeking faults in others. They asked Bhagavan, who wrote 18 volumes of the Puranas, he summarized all the Puranas into one single line, a very powerful line. He says, Doing good to others is the only meritorious deed and doing evil is the most heinous sin, doing good to others. When you feel that you cannot do good, desist from it, walk back, walk away from it. And do not try to discover differences, only unify. In this country today, if you listen to the politicians, you listen to what's going on in Washington, even right down the road here in Trinidad, it's all about division caste, creed, color, race, religion, all trying to pull society apart. We as human beings, we as Sanatolists, we have an opportunity to fix that and to change and to show love and togetherness. Give you a quick analogy. Two Sundays ago, last Sunday, sorry, I was up in Toronto conducting a year Canada. And the person that picked me up from where I was staying drove by a couple of Catholic churches to get to the Monday that we are doing the year here. Parking lot was filled. And the person is saying to me, Pandit, what are they doing different than we not doing? Drive by any of the temples in South Florida on a Sunday morning and see what's going on. But yeah, this beautiful church up at the top of um, commercial and high acres, I believe. Probably on 10 acres of land. You can't find a parking spot in there. Why? Why? Are they not as devoted, sorry, are we not as devoted as them? I'm not condemning and criticizing anyone. God is one. We call him by different names. No devotees. You see, they understand the, the, the concept of love. They understand the concept of love. They understand the concept of togetherness and brotherhood. They don't fight each other. They fight for what is right and fight to build and to encourage others to come towards God. They don't believe in the four walls of a Monday or a church. These four walls are man-made. In the house of God, there are no walls. God is omnipresent. He's everywhere. Speak with love. Speak good words always. And speak with a smile. On behalf of this Ramdas Maharaj, What's the other one again? Jinobi family. No Jinobi? No, okay, Ramdas family. Let me extend my gratitude to all of you for listening and participating, all of the musicians, the Janavalis, over the past hour and a half or so. Some of us were here a little earlier. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for being here this evening at the Pichol Shiv Mandir to share the glorified Bhagwan, to sing his praises. I trust that the Katha this evening would have resonated in some way, something that you, you, I'm sure you've heard it before, but a different approach to the Katha, more philosophical and more meaning on how we are to live and how we open our hearts 
not only to Bhagwan, but to every single human being. My dear brothers and sisters, next Thursday the 15th, sorry, Wednesday the 15th, from 7 to 9 p.m., I invite all of you to join me online. This is not Shiva Mandir, it will be online virtual. We will be celebrating the life again of Auntie Ina. Sorry? Two, two years, the, the, the second anniversary of Auntie Ina. It will be a live virtual satsang from 7 to 9 p.m. You can join me on Facebook, YouTube, and all the other um, social media channels. And this will be in celebration of that second anniversary. It will be a different evening, no katha. But we'll be doing a lot of beautiful uh, songs, film songs, and some of our very, very favorites. Um, before we close this evening, let us blend our voices now and sing this beautiful bhajan. Glorifying Bhakir Indravan Biharila. We have a couple of people that will be singing as well. There's a little program, so please, please bear with us. And beautiful bhajan as well this has been prepared. Um, for those of you who are contemplating journeying to a little, little plug for me, right? It's okay. Commercial. Journeying to the abode of Bhagwan Shiva, Mount Kailash. With the blessing of Bhulinath, we'll be making this journey very shortly. It's not just you buy a ticket and you go to Kailash. You have to prepare yourself to go there. We're going before Bhagwan Shiva. A lot of, lot of things are required. Health, strength, energy, fitness, and of course, devotion. If you don't pray to him and he blesses you, you will not make it. So, more to come on that, stay tuned, and I will give you more information. We attempted this a couple of years ago, and then came COVID-19. So, we'll try again with the blessings of Bhulana. Jai Shiva Shankar. Finally tonight, let us sing this beautiful bhajan, and then I believe we have um, Malaji, you prepared beautiful bhajan for us. Uh, I'll tell you in a minute, I have a list here somewhere. Um, Vikram Ganesh, are you here? Vikram Ji? Yes, no, maybe. Okay. Uh, Auntie Angie, I did see you. Yes, you are here. Prepare the gym for us. And Sudesh Nanayanji. Is it? You sing? You do? Okay, great. So we hear from Sudesh as well. Let us blend our voices together and sing this beautiful bhajan. Glorifying Bhagavan Ji Krishna. Ready? Sivalabha Kavindra Ban Bihari Lala Ki. Ari Sundar Nanda Mukunda. Hari Narayan Hari
जन हो जो है सुन हो वीर हनुमान रामा लक्ष्मण जान की सदा करो कल्याण एक घड़िया दो घड़ी आ दो मैं पुनिया तुलसी संघट सारे बटे खोट अपराध श्रोता सब या सुन गए शंभु गए कैलाश रामायण मधे मह आन कर Once again, thank you all for your attention. Thank you all for your blessings and your presence this evening. And we'll go right now into bhajans, and uh, we will close off with uh, an address to our member of the family.
So you are Suresh? Ah, okay, okay, Rip Prasad. Okay. Rip, nice to meet you, buddy. Jai Sita. Jai Sita. Sita Ramadori. I was 
was asked to do two songs for tonight for an, um, in the memory of uh, Tina. I have had the pleasure of meeting her and um, I've actually sang two of these songs already for her so I know she has enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy it also. Yeah. 
very much, Bridgie. Very nice to uh, listen to you. Oh, yeah, you'll be doing some for us as well. Oh, 
IG for those beautiful selections. Brings us back to yesterday here once again, Bollywood time. Let me on behalf of this entire family thank each and every one of you for coming out to see all the musicians, the singers, friends, relatives, brothers, sisters, sound engineer, I wrote thank you for allowing us on behalf of FA Show to use this beautiful mandir to celebrate the life of one who was very active. She was a light bulb, a catalyst in this Shiva Mandir. And may her legacy continue to live on. And whenever we think of her, we look at that smiling face in the picture, always know that Auntie, Auntie, Auntie Ina meant love. The members of this family would like to dedicate this bhajan to this departed soul because of its meaning. It says, O oh Ma, you are so good to us, so innocent with us, so loving with us. This world is filled with thorny situations that cause us pain, but your face is a flower garden that makes us smile, O oh Ma. Oh, man. Your eyes must be tired after the many nights you kept awake to take care of our needs when we were babies and children. You sacrificed your sleep for our sleep, oh man. Oh man. You have no joy or sorrow of your own. If I smile, you smile. If I cry, you cry. You are totally surrendered to my laughing and crying. Oh man. Oh man. A mother is the very life of her children, I repeat devotees. A mother is the very life of her children. Those people who are very fortunate to have their mothers alive today, be thankful, be grateful, cherish her, worship her, put her on a pedestal. You are so beautiful, so cool, so unique. Please join with me, you all know very well.
Meaning, as high as the Himalayas may rise, my child may always be blessed. This is how your children will continue. Janam, janam ka saath hai, to go on from generations to generation. This brings us to the end. Anything else, Kitty? Ina's Indian. Ina's exclusive. India fashions. Ina exclusive India fashion. Stay tuned, more to come. An online store, just like Amazon. You could go and buy anything on Amazon. You could go on Ina's exclusive India fashion. Buy Indian wear, Indian clothing, and so forth. Soon to come, there's a, it's, it's in the process right now of being built. So stay tuned for that. So you see, Auntie Ina's legacy lives on now in the website. She's in your Amazon that come for Indian clothing in the US. Pray, Sibul Bhagwan, Sri Krishna Chandra Ki. Jai, let us all please stand on the final Arati. You all do the Arati. Thali is ready. Thank you. 
तेरी ममता कितनी
समस्त लोका सुखिनो भवंतु समस्त लोका सुखिनो भवंतु समस्त लोका सुखिनो भवंतु ओ शिव हरे शिव राम सरे प्रभु प्रेमदुता परिवारण हे देव अज जनेश्वर यादव पारिमा शिव हरे विजयम कुरु मे बल कमल गोचन राम रयानी हर गुरु प्रतरक्षण को पटे शिव तनो भव शंकर पारिमा शिव हरे विजयम कुरु मे बल प्रतिदिन कुशल जय मंगल प्रतिदिन कुशल जय मंगल प्रतिदिन कुशल जय मंगल ओ मंगल भगवान विष्णु मंगल करत जह मंगल पुंदरी काश मंगलाय तनो हरि ओ शांति 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 हरि ओ प्रेम से बोल गजानन स्वामी की उमापति महादेव की सत्य सनातन धर्म की पवन पुत्र हनुमान की आगे वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की नमो पार्वते पतये हर 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 महादेव जय जय सी कर सबको वंस अगेन थैंक यू सो मच कोटि कोटि धन्यवाद मीन्स हैव बीन प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर एवरीवन एनी लास्ट मिनट अनाउंसमेंट्स और रिक्वेस्ट नो एंड जस्ट रिमेंबर Thank you all from Vidya and family for everybody for coming out. I'm sorry to keep you back a little bit late. Please partake of the food and when you leave tonight, leave with a smile, knowing that Auntie Ina is in a much better place. Principal of Program, Chandra Bhagwan, Ki, Jai Kothi.